Hi, my name is Hector Garcia. One of my favorite shortcuts in Excel is the paste special shortcut. Uh, not just the shortcut itself, but the entire function. So I'd like to walk you through all the different options on paste special. So the first thing I'll do is to just show you some context. I'm talking about uh, doing basically copy and paste, but using the special command. So if I hit Control C and then I come in right next to uh, in another column right next to it and hit Control V on my keyboard, I do a regular paste. Now, what's the problem with a regular paste? A paste is going to bring in everything exactly the same. So if, if one side was a number, the next side comes in as a number. If one side was a formula, the next side that I paste is going to be a formula as well. Also, if there's any underlines or formatting, bold, whatever, that's all gonna come through. And then in many situations, I don't want to bring the formatting or I do wanna bring the formatting and I wanna sort of pick and choose what gets pasted. So let me go ahead and delete this one and show you through all those options. So the first thing we'll do is paste values, very common. Basically what I want to do is take all this information, but I don't want the underline. I don't want the formulas. I don't want anything that's bold or, or red or maybe highlighted in yellow. I don't want any of that stuff, but I do want the numbers only. So that's called paste value. So that's pretty simple. We just basically copy this formula. I'm going to right click and hit copy or hit control C on the keyboard and then come wherever I want to do it. And then I can do, I can do it two ways. One, I can hit uh, right click and then click on paste special. So I can just click on the paste special command right under the regular paste, or I can hit control alt V. So now I have control V as a regular paste, control alt V. So if I hit control alt V, which is the same thing as hitting paste special, this window comes up, this window here. Now this window gives me several options. We discussed values, okay? So values is the one that's gonna bring in just those numbers, none of the formatting, none of the lines, none of the highlights, none of the bold, none of the formula. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit okay. Okay, and there it is, just the formatting. Okay, now if I want to keep these numbers here, let's say I'm gonna put there uh, 5,000, and then I'm gonna come in here and put uh, 2,000. So I did change two of these numbers. So I wanna select the, the first original column that contains a formula. Right, so that contains a formula. If I actually copy this entire column and then do a, a, a paste special here, uh, as I mentioned, control alt V, I'll just do it through the menu so it'll be easier to see. And I'm gonna click here on this option where it says formulas. Okay, so when I click on formulas, all the original numbers that were um, potentially uh, overridden are, are gonna be overridden by new values but it's also going to bring the formula. So basically in a nutshell, a, a pay special formulas is both values and formulas. So no formatting, but both values and formulas. Okay. Um, so those are basically the two options you have for values and formulas. Now, a couple of the interesting things, let's say that I, that I have uh, different numbers here all together. This time around, I got a bunch of numbers uh, that change. And, um, and what I do want to paste is only the formats. So I do want to paste the, the yellow highlight, the red here, the bold and the lines. I want to paste all that, but I don't want the numbers. I want to keep my original numbers. That's pretty easy. I can select the entire column here and then come into this column that has new numbers and do a paste special. And then I will pick here formats. Now notice that when I hit formats, my original numbers stay but my new formatting gets pasted. So that's a format paster, basically. Okay, now a couple more things to explore inside that same window. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and right click and hit paste special as well, is we have, um, uh, we have we've talked about formulas, we talked about values, we talked about formats. Those are the real um, most common ones. Now notice on the right side, you have formulas and number formats. So that would bring the number formats, but not the cell formatting or um, like the lines and stuff like that. And then we have values and number formats. So let's try them both. So let me copy uh, this one and then do a paste special and do just formulas and number formats. Then I hit okay. 
So notice that I got I got the number formatting and I got the formulas, but uh, I didn't get the actual uh, formatting of the of the aesthetics of the cells. I didn't get the colors. I didn't get the balls, but I did get uh, the the two um, uh, decimal points, which is that that's the that's what number formatting is. So let me just show you what I mean by that as well. Let's say for example, I was to make this uh, dollar and I will also bring this in uh, with no decimals. So if I right click and hit copy, and then I paste here specials only, so I'm gonna do uh, values only, notice that those come in with decimals, right? But if I were to do the other paste special, the one that said uh, right here, uh, formulas and number formats, I'm gonna go ahead and hit okay. Notice that these also come in without the decimal. So number formats, it's about dollar sign and decimals, where just the word formats all together, it's also talking about the color, the bold, and the stuff around the cells, like the borders and things like that. Now, a couple other um, interesting options there. I'm gonna go ahead and select just this information here, which contains uh, some labels here for the rows and some uh, data points. And I'm gonna go ahead and paste this uh, transposed. So we're gonna see what that looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and click paste special. And then here on this side, I'm gonna paste it transposed. So I just click on the little checkbox there that says transposed and then I hit okay. And by the way, this checkbox at the bottom and the paste special and the operation, that could all be done in combination. We'll talk about that briefly. So I'm gonna leave that transposed there and hit okay. And notice what happens. It brought in uh, the cells that were once uh, labels for the rows. They're not labels for the columns. And then all the data points are coming in as uh, columns. So transposing is basically flipping the rows and the columns. Extremely valuable. Now let's take a look at uh, a combination of things. Uh, for example, let me go ahead and delete all these. Let me go ahead and fill in some of these numbers here. So I'm going to fill in. 500 and then I'm going to fill in here uh, 2000 and then I'll fill down here 5000. So if I actually take this entire column and hit uh, copy and then paste it over my column that has more data, okay, I'm going to basically delete what's already there. Okay, maybe I don't want to do that. Maybe what I want to do is only bring in the cells that have information. In other words, skip the blanks. So what would that look like? So I'm going to do a paste special and then I'm going to click on this little checkbox here that says skip blanks and notice what happens. So you will notice that this 94,000 will stay and this 9,000 will be now replaced by a 5,000. So let me go ahead and hit OK. And there it is. That's what a skip blanks is. It will basically take in only the cells that have information on it. Go ahead and delete this. Now, why is paste values so important? Let me give you an example. Let's say that I was putting here uh, some numbers, okay? Whatever these numbers meant. And we were gonna use these numbers as multipliers, okay? So I'm gonna grab and take this number times this number, and then I'll hit enter, and then I'll bring all this information in here. So let's say, for example, that these are numbers, these are like the numbers that I want. So one of the options that I have is I can just grab, copy this and paste it over my original information. I can do that. That's possible. The problem is I'm going to get an error because that number derived from a formula. The formula was the original number that you uh, had there before times two and that's how you got there. So the solution to that or the use case for that is to come here and do a paste special and do values. Because once you paste values, then Excel ignores the entire formula process. Okay, same same token for here. Uh, let's say, for example, I get the numbers here, and then I no longer need this multiplier. If I go and delete this column with the multiplier, my um, formulas get broken. So, same same exact use case. I would want to copy this information, and then uh, paste it uh, special. Let me go to paste special select values and then hit okay. That way I don't lose that. And then at that point I can just delete that uh, column that I was using as a formula. And then my information stays intact because it was my formulas that I used. 
Let me delete that. Let me show you another interesting one. I'm gonna go ahead and replace all these numbers here with the negative version of itself. So in other words, this 94,000 will now come in as a negative 94,000 and this negative 12 will now come in as a positive 12, okay? So how would that work? First, I would uh, copy the cell here and then I'm gonna go ahead, actually before I do that, let me go ahead and create a multiplier. So I'm gonna up here somewhere, I'm gonna put negative one. So this negative one is gonna serve as a multiplier. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy the negative one. Okay, it's really interesting. And then I'm gonna go ahead and select this entire column that has information. And then I'm gonna paste special, right? Warning, if I wasn't doing anything fancy and I just did a regular paste, okay, it's basically gonna replace every number with a negative one. That's not what I wanna do. So I'm gonna do a paste special, and then I'm gonna select down here, it says operation multiply, and then I hit okay. And you will notice that as soon as I hit okay, all these numbers will not turn negative. And the one that was previously negative will now be positive. So I hit okay, and there it is. Now, when I paste it, I didn't specify whether I wanted to see uh, formattings as well. So that's a really important uh, piece, piece of uh, information I have to tell it when I do a paste special. And I also tell it to uh, multiply. I'm going to tell it, you know, to you know, keep, the, keep everything, right? Or keep formulas and number formattings or something like that. So I'm going to tell it to keep everything uh, so I don't lose uh, the formats altogether. Now, in some cases, um, because I'm, I'm, let me just hit, uh, let me do a paste special here. In some cases, because I already had a formatting here, like that was yellow, that was red, and, and the negative one really had, didn't have any format, I would have to exclusively say values. That way my formats don't get screwed and then do the multiply. And then I hit okay, and then my formattings will stay, okay? It's really interesting and really powerful um, how you can do uh, different things with that. Now, a couple of other really important things about it, it's the shortcuts. So now that you know pay special is super powerful, now how do we get to it super fast? So as I, as I mentioned earlier, I can actually hit uh, control alt V and it will get me into the pay special uh, menu. And then also notice that every one of these uh, labels here, right, every type of paste has a, a letter um, that's, that has an underline. So for example, all has an A and then column width has a W and then uh, multiply has an M and then transpose has an E. So basically that all that means is after I hit control out V that pops up this window, I can simply just hit V, so V to enable values. So I can hit V, right? And I can just press uh, V on the keyboard and then that uh, little um, option will be selected. And I could also do, for example, skips blanks by just typing B. Um, and then it basically it, 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 the, the little V enabled values and the big B enabled skip blanks. And then I press enter and then I didn't have to use the mouse at all. And basically that's a really fast way to do a pay, pay special skip blanks. Now it's also important to note that, that these options are, are in many different places. So when I go paste, if I'm working with a newer version of Excel uh, 2013 and 2016, you're gonna see these little icons here. And if you uh, hover over them, you see the different options. And as a matter of fact, what's really cool about them is if you uh, highlight over them before clicking, you get a quick preview of what they will look like um, before you paste it. So you can also, you can just look at it and then if, if that's what you wanna do, you can click at that point. So that's really important to know. Also, once I click on, um, not click hover over pay special, you're gonna see the entire options here. So you're gonna be able to see all the different types of pay special, all the different combinations. And again, uh, on the newer versions of Excel, um, you would see some of that uh, preview live, letting you know kind of what's going on uh, before you do that paste, okay? So it's really, really important piece. The other important piece is I used Pay Special so much that I want to create a keyboard shortcut for it. However, it's really, really tricky because there isn't any keyboard shortcut for Pay Special, but you can develop your own keyboard shortcuts as long as you put them up here into the Quick Access Toolbar. So how that will work? So first of all, 
take your mouse over to the top left of the Excel screen and you want to click on that little tiny drop uh, drop down, which is the quick access toolbar. That's usually next to the save, undo, redo quick access up there. And then I'm going to click on more commands. Now, once I go to more commands, now uh, in Excel, it's going to take me to a preference asking me to say, okay, what command would you like to add in there? Now, there's a whole bunch of commands in here. Uh, typically, you want to go through the commands that are uh, not in the ribbon or maybe something like all commands so you can find the special pay special icon. So I'm going to click here on all commands and that will give me basically every option out there of commands available in Excel. And then I'm going to scroll all the way down and there's literally thousands of them here. So I'm going to go all the way down until I find the piece and then I'm going to find paste special. So where are you paste special? Okay. There's paste special, but specifically I want to go to paste values. Okay. It's because that's the one that I use the most, not just paste special because I can do control alt V for that specifically paste values. So I'm going to click on paste values and click on add. And that's going to now bring a quick shortcut up there. So it's just going to be a single button, which is going to be great. Um, and then also let's say that I also happen to use uh, paste formatting a lot. So we'll keep those two and then I'll click on add. Now I have two quick paste special values and formatting in my quick access toolbar. I'm going to go ahead and hit okay. And now you see them up here. Okay. So I can just basically uh, copy my entire column select wherever I want to paste the data and then click on that click click access toolbar. That means I don't have to um, right click. I don't have to do control uh, alt V and then press V for paste special. I can just click on that icon right there and it will enable it for me. But what's even nicer about this icon here with a quick access toolbar, I can also um, position the quick access toolbar under the ribbon. So I'm going to click on show. So now I can get it a little bit closer. Now you see it here. So again, I can copy this entire column, select wherever I want to paste it, and then go into my uh, paste special button that's already there. And that was basically a shortcut. Now, a keyword shortcut um, can also be enabled for anything on my quick access toolbar. Basically, if I press Alt by itself, so just Alt by itself, you will notice that uh, Excel opens up sort of a uh, uh, a quick guide in terms of what combination of letters get you to what feature. So this is telling you that one, two, three, four, five, and that four is the one that we just added and the five as well. That means if I press alt four in this case, I get paste special. And if I do alt five, I get paste formatting. So let's try it. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this by hitting control C and then going into my column and I'm going to hit alt five. So alt five. And there it is, formatting. I'll do that again. So I first went to uh, select the column and then, or basically copy the column that has the formatting, select the column and hit Alt-5. Of course, you can't see me doing it on the keyboard, but uh, I'm doing Alt-5 and that's doing it. And why that it's Alt-5 or Alt-4? That's because um, anything you put in your quick access toolbar is going to be a combination Alt plus whatever order that icon is. So I hope you enjoyed the video on pay special. Uh, I'm going to be from now on posting a whole bunch of videos on Excel. Microsoft Excel is one of my favorite tools. I'm also working with Excel 2016 and I'm very excited about all the new features in Excel of 2016. So if you liked these videos, uh, Excel type shortcuts and uh, commands and all Excel, go ahead and hit like, subscribe to the channel and add some comments below about what kind of Excel features you would like me to do next. Thank you.